USQ is on a, an exciting trajectory at the moment. We've had to rethink the way we cater for the new generation of students. So moving forward, we saw the need to adopt a system, a technology, which would enable us to connect classrooms, not only within one campus, but potentially also between our other three campuses. And using a network AV approach for that design gave us the opportunity to do that. So working together for such a long period of time, we understood and, and came to the realisation that we couldn't approach this project with a traditional AV technology platform due to its limitations. We needed something different which lowered the total cost of ownership and adding better value for return on investment. What these rooms let you do now is actually bring that down to something closer to the student, more in their space. I mean, the students are learning in their space around them. These particular spaces where we can bring the content that we're presenting here onto a whiteboard closer to them is good just because it brings it closer to the student. It makes it more immediately available to them. The flexibility is certainly there for us with the SVSI solution. We can expand and grow the system as we see fit. Oh, I believe USQ are on a very solid path to adopting uh, the current technology sets to provide the outcomes that the students uh, and the teachers are looking for and it paves the way for a topology of AV that uh, we're going to see more and more into these education spaces across the sector. I think one of the key pieces of feedback is the student they really like is the ability to throw the video feeds wherever they need to. So the ability for me to, as an academic, to say, oh look, you're working on something really good there, let me just grab that video feed and show everyone else. They really like that ability to quickly change between those video feeds and share the work that they've been working on. I think at the end of the day, the key important thing is the human aspect. And students really now see how this technology enables the humans, so the actual lecturers, the academics, the students, to collaborate and work together. And I think that's the key piece of feedback that's come out of using these rooms.